And first term state senator Mark Panapinto made a surprise announcement today. The Buffalo Democrat and Independent will not run for re election in November. News Force Dave Graber was at today's news conference that ended suddenly when the questions focused on issues with staff personnel. Dave? Well, Don and Jackie, Mark Panapinto highlighted past battles won in the 60th district, but questions from the press focused on reported internal battles within his own office. Senator Mark Panapinto cited a potential ban on outside income, as well as professional and personal reasons for his decision not to seek re-election in November. I got to put my family first and my law family above the voters of the 60th Senate District and be able to refocus my activity back here at the law firm. Panapinto highlighted past battles fighting for Democrats and local workers, including most recently school funding, raising New York's minimum wage, and paid family leave. But none of those was the focus of questions the one-term senator took from the press, including whether there was an ongoing investigation involving his former chief of staff, who left his post on Saturday and was immediately replaced. There's a, there's a personnel matter, which is confidential, which I can't discuss, but there is presently no ethics investigation. Was Danny's le uh, leaving the result of any kind of ongoing investigation? Again, you know, I'm not going to comment on any personnel issues. That situation will play itself out. I've had some staff turnovers. People have left. The announcement surprised Erie County's GOP chairman, Nick Langworthy, who said he believes this story isn't over. The timing, um, you know, certainly is suspect. I mean, I, I'm sure there'll be some facts that come out uh, that we don't know about yet. Just two weeks ago, Democratic Party chairman Jeremy Zellner endorsed Panapinto for re-election this fall. I don't know what's happening. Um, you know, in this business, it's hard to respond to rumors because, you know, you hear them every single day about all kinds of things. But, you know, I, I think a process is in place that will that will play itself out. Um, you know, the senator mentioned something about uh, some kind of staff situation. If there is an investigation, I'm sure we'll hear more about it. GOP Chairman Nick Langworthy said he wanted to see Erie County Clerk Chris Jacobs run for the seat. Jacobs tells News 4 that he's, quote, seriously considering running and will make an official decision soon. Reporting in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 11.